Happy birthday, Adam Slink. We wish you long life and prosperity. Happy birthday, Adam Slink. Metal Winter, continue to bless you. Happy birthday, Adam Slink. We love you. Hi guys, welcome back. This is your boy again, Adam Slink. And uh, thank you guys for all your messages. And plus one today, happy birthday to me. And firstly, guys, honestly, you guys made me remember that my birthday is today because as at 11 59 i was still working i was carried away i couldn't even i didn't even remember that my birthday time is almost near and uh, your messages actually informed me that yes i'm celebrating my birthday today and that made me send out messages on my whatsapp of course family and friends saw that and then they start coming in wishing me happy birthday but honestly if I didn't send that messages on WhatsApp and if you guys didn't inform me and I didn't send that messages on WhatsApp, they wouldn't even know that this was my birthday. So you guys, you see, you guys would know my birthday more better than my own family. Well, the honest truth is that in this life, people you don't know, you have never seen before will be the one to support you. And thank you very much, guys. Thank you. You guys have been really, really great, uh, helpful. Thank you for all your support. Like every day, my videos, you know, all this Bonnie that data guys, I really appreciate you. You guys are making my day every day, not just my birthday. Uh, every day you guys are making my day and uh, thank you very much for your support. Uh. Thank you very much, I really appreciate you. And uh, meanwhile guys, let's uh, move forward. And uh, let's talk about, I want to start this talk with Bob Brisky. Sorry, I know you guys, some of you don't like to hear about Bob Brisky so much. But uh, you know Bob Brisky, when uh, one of our fan or his fan drew a tattooed his face on her back. But Bruce was so pleased, and what she did, she bought that fan, uh, she gave that fan one million naira in cash, bought her two phone, helped that fan to sign an endorsement deal, carried that. Uh, is, is she's also sponsoring uh, a Dubai trip for that particular woman. Good, fine. She really tried, but surprisingly, other people are coming out now. Uh, uh tattooing Bobrisky name on their body simply because of what Bobrisky did for this particular woman. A, a, a lady who is not from this country did that and Bobrisky also thanked her. Another one did the same thing yesterday. Again, tattoo Bobrisky photo on her back. Bobrisky also thanked her and uh, she gave her something. The, with the way things are going, it seems like everybody will start drawing Bobrisky on their body so that they can get a millionaire. I might decide to just do mine. Bobrisky, you know, I'm drawing you on my um, Do a fake tattoo of Bobrisky here. I'll be like, Bobrisky, I'm your fan. So that Bobrisky can give me one million naira and uh, send me to Dubai. But honestly, it's getting too much though. Because Bobrisky did that, that uh, give uh, that lady, that first lady, a lot of things and it does make deal. Because for simply drawing, tattooing his face on her back, everybody now just want to start doing it. Come on, a time is no, she doesn't have that kind of money oh, it's to, to start giving everybody one and be on that simply because you draw you 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 draw a face on your back or on your ties or whatever. So don't do well, it's left for you though. If you think Bob Bruce will give you money, go and do it. And uh David O's boy who recently apologized to DJ Copy and uh people have been blasting him, say, say you say you're strong now. Why did you apologize to DJ Copy after you blast out of his Latin issue with Ted Dollar's uh, daughter? Then this is what he responded. He said, apology doesn't kill. You people should leave me alone. You now want to remove my name. You now want to remove me from circulation. I'm just out from Islam. The hotel dollars have over 500 billion naira net worth. Within I get. Firstly, apology doesn't kill. If you must apologize to somebody, simply just apologize. Apology doesn't kill. But people, some people are like, hey guy, if you say apologize, lie, lie, they will never apologize. Apology is like you are putting a knife on their throat. So they will never, never apologize. But apology doesn't kill. Just simply say sorry. Sorry doesn't kill. And even if you want him to fight, how much does he have? How much do you think he have to fight? And they might spoil his uh, his this uh, 
music uh entertainment you know he's not a musician but uh, keep following people as boy boy they might spoil it for him they might tell or tell the lama i say okay anywhere i'm going if you want me at your function i don't want to see his right there that's a very big something for him or they will just spoil his money so please i say apologize so it's good for me it's good it should if it's me eh, if it's me i will even go and buy gift to uh, to buy gift for dj copy even me down in front of dj copy say sorry please forgive me what are you talking if me today somebody wants to sue me for say something online and that person has money my brother how much do i have to fight i would say sorry simple as that sorry doesn't kill and here is a video of two couples who were recently seen fighting apparently they are couples husband and wife honestly what is wrong yeah they were beating themselves with spit and sand oh i never pray to have this kind of relationship oh, honestly but there are women out there because apparently you can see that that woman was the one pushing forward to make sure he, he she was the one that carried sand first and she was the one that poured that spit first there are some women that will push you to your limit. But the man self is he, standing there arguing. As soon as my wife or my girlfriend try to pour spit on me, why will I be pouring it back? I immediately enter my car or run self from that place. Because of women, they are they are extremely devilish. I saw this video, you no? Know? The video has been making a lot of uh, social media outcry, and people are having their separate opinion, but a lot of people actually are blaming the woman. But the man doesn't necessarily have to stand there and keep exchanging words with a woman because you can never beat a woman when it comes to words and the highest thing that you can beat a woman on the only way you can beat a woman is when you beat her and that is highly prohibited you don't eat any woman so you know you cannot beat a woman physically is highly prohibited you can't do that and you cannot beat a woman through your mouth simply just leave that place the best thing the best way for you to deal with a woman i'm telling you is silence just be silent just be silent that is the best way that is the best way honestly i've i've seen relationship i've seen marriages i've learned a lot i've seen that see when you argue with a woman you are just wasting your time you can never ever beat her when arguing so just simply just keep your mouth shut and I have said this several times about engagement. If you must engage, if you must propose to your girlfriend in public, please know the mind of your girlfriend. Uh -huh. that is a video again another lady is uh, out here disgracing this guy I saw a, a video a few days ago a few weeks ago in a mall one lady turned down wedding proposal from a guy in front of everybody why see I that's why I say I won't propose to in 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 in, in locally uh, local way my father did it is like Alpha will you marry me Corner like this, even even in beer parlor, you guys will sit down drinking with friends. Don't simply whisper to her here, say, "Baby Alpha, will you marry me?" A reaction then will tell you if you will kneel down or if you will do anything. Don't go there and disgrace yourself, guy. If you guys are there, just say, "Alpha, baby, will you marry me?" To a year, don't say it out to just simply do that first. If you say, eh, yeah, babe, yes, 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 then you start, you you do not do the formality where camera will be rolling, then you kneel down. Because if you start doing it from the girl who doesn't even care about you, you have been dating yourself for all, all those while. But apart from that, there are girls who doesn't like who don't like this public proposal. It's not as if they don't love you, they don't like you, they don't want to marry you, but they don't just like this effizy. They don't do well with effizy and 
public something yeah uh, not a minority of guys don't like that very very bad few don't like that but majority of women we will tell you say babe if you want to propose to me i want it to be special i want it to be this i want it to be that i want it to be this you know they love that so of course you should know a girl want to marry you you guys will be discussing it first before that day don't go and the girl a girl who doesn't even care who doesn't even want who does a girl want to marry you will bring marriage discussion first not you guy it's not proper for a man who is not ready to propose to a woman to be talking after and if you marry me uncle like just normal discussion no you see a lady who want to marry you will be the first person to be chipping you that talk we telling you oh babe okay what if you want to marry me tomorrow all those kind of talk you guys understand now and uh do you agree with this statement kids raised by a housewife kids raised by a housewife are of a better advantage to kids raised by a career woman the nurture is not the same kids raised by a housewife housewife have better advantage than kids raised by a career woman a woman who goes to work who have our business who have our life to live is that true well i don't know i can't say that mothers please uh let me know what you feel about that statement and yeah me halade me halade was giving us some tips when it comes to valentine and this is what she said she said before you buy a valentine gift be sure the person you are dating is dating you you know because of this occupy answers lucky to get that was happening yesterday fans were not happy that you hear me all that they still talking about valentine meanwhile we are busy fighting fighting for our right to stop the censors gate from opening then she said person responded to yemi all that they saying mama you now no get sense now valentine you still the talk of then she, res she responded saying oga your mama no the twitter the other person responded saying you are very senseless sorry to say a lot of celebrities are busy using their social media to protest against bad governance and de demanding for justice you are here talking about valentine yemi alade you be fool and sas yemi alade responded again you don't have to be you don't have to make hostile tweets be compassionate with your passion if the heat is too much see a psychiatry well see i don't understand how someone you know say you don't get money if they check you don't even you are not even up to yemi alade quarter you, you are just out there calling somebody fool you can uh, talk to somebody without actually insulting that person you can make a statement without insulting anyone how can you be calling somebody's fool if they bring me another they come in and they bring you come in you are down below because she does it she she did tweet about uh answers does that make her a bad person if she even checks uh, the thing that she has done for the community you have never done quarter you have never bought one book for your own community so don't just go around calling people names i saw it and was really happy about it and uh here is what one popular of course you guys will know this particular uh guy who, who usually talk about relationship he said any lady any lady that is not satisfied with flowers and chocolates on Valentine's Day is not your wife material. He said 85% of Nigerian ladies see Valentine's Day as an opportunity to hammer, upgrade their phone, buy new cars, even try to buy a whole house. Is it the economy or is it personality trait that interrupt such gomanizing behavior? A lot of ladies have either been brainwashed by society into thinking love is money or they are just greedy. Flour, chocolate, cars have become a taboo and a thing for small girls. If a guy gives a lady flour and chocolate, her response may most like be, am I a child? Do I look like a goat? Thanks, I will eat flowers. 
flower are grass. <laughs> it's also said that some men have taken advantage of this lady's weakness. Some men use the, prom the promise of Val, Val gave to sleep with ladies and they hand up and they hand off and they hand off not giving the lady gift. Ladies, appreciate what your man gives you with a happy heart and give something back to sex is not payment for valentine gift any lady not satisfied with flour and chocolate is not a wife materials but honestly let us be frank some guys have actually used i promise you to buy you this on valentine day to sleep with many many women and at the end of the day that guy or those guys won't buy you any dime on valentine day that is how it is i've done it before guys we know those gullible women, yes, who do, oh, by the time you're going to buy me a phone, I'll say, yes, babe, I'll go buy you a phone, calm down and give me now, give me sugar. And after you, you collect that sugar, at the end of that Valentine day, you jack back. I've done it, guys. You gullible guests, eh? Gullible guests out there. <laughs> Tell me you don't really deserve that kind of thing. Tell me you want to change phone on top of my head. You want, or you want to check change car change the whole house on top of somebody's uh, picking it go on now on valentine day you're waiting for that day and meanwhile uh evangelist, uh evangelist mike said tomorrow is a day of death <laughs> valentine day is a day of death he said tomorrow evening is a night on phone when many men and ladies will slaughter their destiny on the bed of lustful pleasure by next morning it is done destiny audition or this or destiny auctions to a young man or a lady whose future has been mortgaged to the devil happy valentine if joseph had a phone with a patriarchal wife he would never have to go to the palace to see the type of glory he saw he escaped that trap that would have abducted his destiny on which so many lives in Egypt and can land depended upon. There is a great story. Well, apparently he is saying that on Valentine's Day is the day of death. That by sleeping with a girl or a girl sleeping with a man on this Valentine night, you are actually auctioning your destiny to the devil. Well, everybody has their own separate ideology consigning this but at the same time <laughs> some people will still be scapegoats on valentine day and meanwhile cardi b is busy celebrating this uh, her valentine because she upset it that see upset has matched matched her own uh her own gift to to her so like okay guys you guys love Cardi B, right? You follow Cardi B. Most of what he say, you guys use it to work. You guys use it to work. Okay? Cardi B said, she matched upset gift to her. That means if upset buy a car, she will match that gift by buying him something as valuable as that. So why not that if your, girl, if your guy buy you a iPhone, also match that gift? by buying him a Samsung that is as expensive as that. Simple and short. Simple and short. That's what she said yesterday. Simple and short. But no, you guys want the guy to do it. You, you, you guys want the guy to do everything for you guys. You want everything to be done for you. All your life, your mother took care of you. Your father took care of you. You will still leave your father and mother house to enter another man or another person picking house. That person will take care of you until he die. Then your son or your daughter will continue. Your son mostly will continue. Take care of you until all your life you have been taken care of. No, but uh, there are still some really, really cool women out there. Or don't go there. Or there are women who will match your gift and times to match your gift. But we guys shouldn't take this woman for granted. We should not take all those women for granted, honestly. Because we do take them for granted. We say, okay, I see this mogul does it by buy me gift in here. Now you be mogul, my brother, because you are taking the one you have for granted. And uh, meanwhile, uh, 
To end this video, Diamond Platinum said they will do almost made in broke. I, I, I know this, this story is crazy, right? Well, he said that uh, he actually borrowed money. Because if you are familiar with their collaboration back then, Diamond Platinum, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Diamond Platinum said he actually borrowed money to picture David Doe because he had to fly to Nigeria and all those things and paying David Doe big money that he has never ever 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 paid any artist like that during that time as much as he has paid David Doe that day David Doe almost went down him broke and he borrowed money but at the end of the day that he was so happy that uh that's how he, he, he did that video with David Doe and that video actually blowed him far and wide. So guys, uh, take that risk to invest. Take that risk. Eh? Take that risk to invest. And meanwhile, guys, uh, if you want to read more of the story, just simply Google it. And uh, thank you guys for watching. 